Hello and welcome to the journal. Today we're at the Anno Museum at Tel Aviv University to see one of the oldest and most complete copies of the Hebrew Bible, the Codex Sasson. The Sasson crown is one of the oldest and most complete copies of the Hebrew Bible in existence, with a history dating back to the 9th and 10th century. This dating for the beginning of the 10th century was determined by Professor Israel Yavim, apparently by using paleographic data such as the font of the script and its shape. It was later confirmed by a carbon-14 dating test in 2018. The Sasson crown includes all 24 books of the Bible except for the first 10 chapters at the beginning of Genesis and other lost pages, and has been passed down through the generations from hand to hand, country to country, for over a thousand years. The Sasson crown was written in ink on sheepskin and bound in a modern leather binding, weighing about 12 kilograms and including 792 pages of written texts except for the 12 pages which were declared missing. In the exhibit we see this enormous Bible is displayed behind transparent glass. The Hebrew letters are woven into verses with three columns on each page. The words are familiar to people of all ages and backgrounds, despite being written thousands of years ago. On the display, we see the Book of Deuteronomy, which reads in Hebrew script the Ten Commandments. It is a pan-Jewish matter, but it's also a universal one. To stand and marvel at the point from which so many human pets begin, which continue until this day. This historical piece of writing took an estimated two years to complete, and it was reportedly written in either Israel or Syria. Therefore, the Sasson crown serves as a testament of the rich Jewish life in the Middle East around the 9th and 10th century. In the 13th century, the Codex was dedicated to the synagogue in the Makshin community, which is identified with the town of Markada in present-day Syria. A detailed inscription on the last page of the manuscript reflects the tragedy that befell this community, which was attacked by invaders. Fearing for the book's safety, it was smuggled out of the synagogue and entrusted to Salama ben Avi el Fakhr, who was required to return it to the community when the synagogue was rebuilt. Sadly, the synagogue was never built again, and the codex disappeared for almost 600 years. The book, however, resurfaced in the 1920s, when an extraordinary man named David Suleiman Sasson, perhaps the most important collector of Jewish books, purchased it in 1929 for 350 pounds in Frankfurt. The document, named after Sasson, was the product of his lifelong passion for collecting and researching ancient Jewish manuscripts. Born into a privileged Iraqi Jewish family, Sasson established a library in his hometown of London and spent his life amassing over a thousand manuscripts from all corners of the globe, from Ashkenazi communities in the West to Yemen and North Africa, and even as far as India, his collection was a testament to his unwavering dedication to preserving Jewish history and culture. Despite his devotion to these priceless artifacts, Sasson passed away in 1942, leaving his descendants to inherit his cherished collection of over a thousand manuscripts. While some notable books were later donated to the National Library of Israel, Sasson Crown took a different path. The manuscript was sold to the Railway Workers' Pension Fund of Great Britain, which eventually sold it to an unknown private buyer in 1978. Within a short time, it was purchased in 1989 by Jackie Safwa, a Jewish businessman living in Switzerland. Throughout these transactions, Sasson's crown remained out of public view, hidden away for praying eyes. In recent decades, the manuscript has been exhibited 
to the public only once, almost 40 years ago in the British Museum. Nevertheless, it remains a prized possession and a testament to Sasson's dedication to preserving the ancient history and culture of the Jewish people. Now, the Sasson's crown is in Israel as part of a final tour which also includes London, Los Angeles, Dallas and New York, just before going up for auction at Sotheby's auction house. With a price range estimated between 30 and 50 million dollars, the Sasson crown may become the most valuable historical document of all time. Thanks for joining us in today's video on the journal, where we saw the oldest written Hebrew Bible, the Codex Sasson. See you next time.